All right, guys, we're back in the episode. I like to call it. Your connection is weak. That's what this thing tells me. Anyway, so I do have Crash getting the basket. I need to hide my phone thing, though, because she'll get this. If you said, what does she do? Uh, she gets jumps up on the counter. When my phone is charging and jerks the whole phone, the charger, and all of it out of the wall and brings it to me. Yeah, that's my life. I'm trying to see if I can get some kind of grant money. Anyway, and you know, I'm really, I want you guys to understand, you know, if you're shooting videos, you, you, you've got to do it. I mean, everybody can just be their own little little filmmaker. You know, I'm, I'm, hi Brian. You know, I'm looking at it as a sad, you know, the fact that those footstools are red and that pool is pink, you know, that's by design. If everything was bland, you've got to shoot it like a movie. Anybody can do it. You know, if these people will license that, you know, father teaching puppies to swim, that's what the world wants. They want a fantasy. They don't want reality. Anyway, and I got the red towel too. So what I've got her doing now is, and I do think the basket's good, Ryan, and I think you could do it with Simon uh, because it really helps them understand what's going on. All right, so let me show you what I got today. I've got three of the dumbbells. And then I have this, which represents the phone. That's, you know, I can't imagine why she gets my phone. Uh, the glasses, which are broken. And these were actually really cute. Oh, they're Foster Grants, too. Uh, I learned my lesson with that. And then this tag from these jeans. This is my life. A, a, you know, a, a psychiatrist can analyze this. All right, so I'm going to put the basket by the footstool. You know, and maybe I should have... Maybe I should have like a circle of cones or something. All right, but I just kind of touched her incidentally. All right, so I'm back at my thing. Oh, you little monkey grass. You know, and I probably should. All right, she knew it fell. I probably should let her. They seem to like to come around behind like that because that's what that little cockapoo does too. The main thing that you've got to express, your character in this scene is more in love with those things than your dog and if only the two could marry up then maybe we could have a relationship but oh she's headed right back you see how that helped her oh you little monkey crash see now she's going a different way oh she expects to be paid all right now i'm just looking i'm gonna try to do it with no sound
right, if I don't have some loves when I get back over there, you're all gone. You're all gone. You know what a tyrant I am. It was unbelievable. I'm gonna have to send her back for the basket. Yeah. Tony, I hope you're impressed with that. You know, I kind of, because nobody seems to be that impressed with it. So then I think, well, maybe it's not that impressive, but my God, I don't even know how I taught the dog this. You know, and I, I, I do believe, and I, if you said, what did this teach me? I, I think if you're a dog trainer, you need to get a core of dogs that do these things, because I think that that only helps you. If you said, how did she learn to pick up the basket? She saw the other one doing it and did it too. That's how it happened. And it, you know, she does seem to get the objects in a certain order. In the house, she doesn't. All right, I'm just gonna put the two things. I'm almost positive she'll get the, but you know, I think if you're a dog trainer, most dog trainers do. I mean, if you got into training dogs, you had a dog you loved that, that, you know, that elevated your ego by doing good. I mean, that's, you know, that's how people get to be dog trainers. They've got a dog and, you know, they're able to train it. They don't really maybe appreciate it at the time that the dog is, you know, taking it upon itself or whatever. But, you know, if you've, you know, got a, obviously you got to teach the core dog, I think. But then after that, it seems like it just overflows to all of them. All right, so Crash is gone. Let me see if I can do my pager. And what's going to happen is she's going to come, and once she can thread through the gate, all right, there's my pager. Oh, no, that's my beat. Okay, there's my pager. She's spun. Here she comes. Threading, threading. Running, running. Please don't run into the footstool, Crash. Ah! Uh-oh, she smelled the basket. She's a monkey uh, I think she knows the basket. I think she knows it's there. I, I was gonna say, I think she'll go back. And she loves that dumbbell. I honestly didn't used to think these were good for training dogs at all. Because dogs don't really like them, but it seems like if they see the other dogs liking them, they like them too. She might just get the basket without the... They love this little tag from these jeans. Uh oh. No, you better find your little. Oh, you little sticker crash. <laughs> you better go back for the tag crash, because that's what we. That's what we, you know. Somehow they find that thing all day and bring it to me. And they don't tear it up. She's going to go back and look for it, I think. They're the ones that found it. You know, and I think maybe that's what you should do, too. You know, maybe you should look for things they already kind of pick up to get them doing it. And Fernando, I, I don't know if you're watching, but I, I hope you're working with it. And, and I'm going to tell you guys what, what Fernando's problem is with his dog. The whole video, the dog never moved. It just sat in one spot. And if you said, where does that come from, from your initial relationship being sit and stay, and I'm looking for nine different ways to freaking trick you into not staying. So, is she gonna find it here in a minute? Oh, Molly just spit up right on my set. She's awful. Oh, now she's gonna bring me this stick. Look at her. She's just like shoe bottom. <laughs> oh, yes. Now she's, I gotta run and get a paper towel, you guys. She's in stepping Molly's vomit. Hang on. She's absolutely awful. Yeah, thank God she didn't step in. All right, what I'm going to do is, ah! But there was a string. I'm going to try putting that back there. I do think she's getting some sense of direction. And what I wouldn't want to do with her, oh, here's the string right here. All right, let me just see if I can wheel her down there to do it. 
she knows the basket isn't there. I think she might go look. Oh, you little monkey girl. That's what she does. Now she wants to be paid for this. This needs to get gone. Hopefully she doesn't start looking for that now. Oh, she probably will. They'll find it later, because I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys are familiar with those things, but they've got big teeth on them. And when they, you little monkey trash, you, she loves that thing. Uh, when they uh, run by you with these palm frond things, these teeth, rip into your leg. Anyway, guys, so that's where we're at with Crash. So I don't know, I think she's doing pretty good. And... You know, that's a little, look at her. She already wants to pick up the basket. You know, I do have, I do feel like somewhat, if something's, if something touches her, and I watch, if something touches her, she'll know. I make it just kind of incidental. And she's headed back over there. Oops. <laughs> you little monkey cash. My advice is save every old phone case and everything else, but... Anyway, guys, I'll be right back. i got to run through these client dogs, and my lawn girl's coming over today, and uh, I'm going to try to work them as the episode a little bit, because I don't, you guys that live in Florida know. If there's one thing dogs hate, it's lawn people. A guy with the weed. All you got to do is make, all you got to do to make a dog hate somebody around here is put a weed eater, a blower, a rake, or a shovel in their hand, and every dog you've got hates these people. Hello, Sophia. Oh, she's awful. She, don't you see? She's just trying to get attention. Look at her crash, though. She just looks off into the... She's awful. I like those, some of those videos I find two, three years ago. She's, you know, in there doing the exact same thing. All right, watch. Let me see if I can do a recall. <laughs> oh, you little monkey girl. You little monkey. So I think, you know, I think if you had a blind dog, the ideal thing would be... You know, if you had them inside, if you said, how would you, how would you work it from here? You know, if you wanted to really start working there, I would create the boundary as the concrete. And then you could, you could teach the dog to spin and stuff if I move that foot. So it's almost like she's waiting for me to call her. All right, watch. Here's, I'm going to move this because I don't, I don't want her running into stuff. You know, I think my job would be to make sure as best possible, I had an unobscured, all right, watch. There's my pager. <laughs> ah, she still ran into it. Oh, you little monkey crash. All right, let me see if I can get her up there. All right, you guys just got to do your trick one time. So there's my pager. She spends an hour when I'm on the elliptical doing this. So I think that what she thinks is when I'm on the elliptical, I'm going like that. You know, but even when I sit next to her, I mean, that video of the, that guy or whoever rubbing that blind dog, I can't imagine if I did that to crash or poked her as a signal. I understand you don't have to do that, you know. She'll come and lay beside me probably. She will give me kisses though. She's, she's still looking for things. She's gonna, there's a little, little piece of, uh, something right there she might find. You know, maybe she's some kind of hound or something. Yeah, she's looking. You know, she, you know. I think maybe if I feed her right here, she knows she's not supposed to be looking. She just keeps looking, though. She just keeps looking. She likes it. Oh, you little monkey crash. All right, watch. If she knows it fell just by some incidental...
She's actually very helpful. She's actually very helpful. Sure, her and she bought them knock everything down, but they give it all back to me, and it takes hours and hours, and it fills up my day. All right, guys, I hope you guys like that. I'll be right back. And he looks up, and there's Molly. Still playing her role. Bye, you guys. I'm going to get a picture of that.